Hello everyone. Welcome to our today's session. Today we are going to discuss another five questions from 2019 past paper. And in the previous sessions we have already discussed the first 10 questions. To check out those questions, the links are in the description box. And to stay updated with my latest video, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Now let's start. Our first question is the acceleration due to gravity on earth's surface is 10 meter minus 2. The acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the moon is 1/6 the acceleration due to the gravity of earth. If the weight of the man on the earth is 600 newton, how much is his weight on the moon? When you read this question, most of us don't understand what's going on and you feel it difficult. But no, if we understand, it's really simple. So, firstly, we'll understand the question through a diagram. In this question, they are saying that the acceleration due to gravity on earth's surface is 10 meters per second. And when you consider the acceleration due to gravity on moon, it is 1/6th of the earth. It means 1/6th of 10 meters per second. So, if a man on earth is 600 newton, then you should find the weight of the man who is on the moon. Now we know that the acceleration in moon is 1/6 of the earth. Therefore the weight of the man on the moon is equal to the weight of the man on earth into 1/6 which gives 100 newton. Therefore the answer is number 2 100 newton. Now let's move on to the second question. The deficiency of which of the following vitamin causes anemia? Anemia is a condition which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry out oxygen and this is caused by due to the lack of vitamin B. Therefore the answer is vitamin B. Other than this anemia let's see what are the other deficiency of vitamin B. Beriberi which affects the heart and circulatory system and dryness in the skin changes in complexion reduction in antibody production so these are the other deficiency symptoms of vitamin b now let's move on to our next question in which part of the female reproductive system does fertilization occurs in human reproduction Let's see the main parts of the female reproductive system and its function. Main parts are ovary, fallopian tube and uterus. There is a pair of ovaries close to the lateral walls of the pelvic area and ovary produces ova. Then ovum that comes out of the ovary enters into the long muscular tube which is called as the fallopian tube. Here the fertilization occurs. Next the uterus. Here the implantation occurs after the fertilization. Through this we can say that the fertilization occurs in fallopian tube. Now let's move on to our next question. What is the mass of a glucose required to make 500 cm cube of glucose solution of concentration 1 mole decimeter minus 3? So using the given data, let's answer the question. We can find number of moles by concentration and volume as they have given. So here the concentration equals mole over volume. Therefore the mole is equals to concentration into volume and if we substitute the value for the concentration it is 1 decimeter cube and for the volume it is they have given 500 cm cube so you have to convert that into decimeter cube so into 10 to the power minus 3 and the answer will be 0.5 now we have found the moles 
through the moles now let's find the mass of a glucose so mole equal mass over molar mass and mass equals mole into molar mass now we know the mole of a glucose is 0.5 and they have given molecular mass is 180 therefore the answer is 90 gram answer number two now let's move on to our last question the movement of an object during 25 seconds is illustrated by the velocity time graph given select the correct statement among the moment of the object let's discuss this question through each answers the retardation of the object is 2 meters per second retardation means the deceleration so let's consider the points on the graph as a b c d so here from a to b the object is accelerating we know that the acceleration is equals to final velocity minus initial divided by time so for the first 10 seconds we can find the acceleration so the final velocity is 10 minus initial velocity is 0 and its time period is 10 seconds therefore the answer is 1 meters per second now let's consider the points from b to c here the object moves with a constant velocity therefore the acceleration is 0 then the third is c to d here let's find the acceleration the final velocity equals 0 minus initial velocity equals 10 and divided by 5 second which gives minus 2 meters per second as the acceleration here the acceleration is in the negative value so if the acceleration is in negative we call that as deceleration or retardation therefore the retardation is equals to 2 meters per second Therefore, this is the correct answer. Let's discuss other answers too. The displacement of the object is zero. The area under the VT graph will give you the displacement. As in the previous diagram, we'll mark ABCD as the same point and the height as H. So here the area of the trapezium equals AD plus BC it should be divided by 2 into its height so the distance of AD is equals to 25 and the BC is equals to 10 and divided by 2 and its height is equals to 10 therefore the answer is 175 meter so the displacement of object is 0 is a wrong answer third statement states that the acceleration of the object is 10 meters per second but we have already learned from acceleration occurs from a to b so here we get the answer as 1 meters per second therefore this is also a wrong answer next the object has moved 20 seconds at a velocity of 10 meters per second in this graph the object has moved 10 meters per second from b to c then the time taken to move those points is 20 minus 10 which gives the answer as 10 seconds therefore it is also wrong the correct answer is answer number one thank you everyone 